Oh, hey everybody, Brad here again. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, so I hope you're all doing well. Um, I've been busy kind of working and traveling and a few things like that. And during that time, the idea for my next video uh, has come to me, and that is, what exactly does this Honda Clarity of mine have for a transmission? So in this video, I'm going to explore that, uh, not only with some internet searching and maybe even uh, and something, frankly, that will even include what I think is a patent document, I'm also just about to, I'm in my great clothes, as you might see, that I'm gonna go out and actually do the second oil change on this thing. So I'm gonna have a look while I've got the service trap door and really try to get a better sense this time than last time uh, is what the heck is underneath there. So anyway, if you're interested in that, I hope you stick around. Uh, and as always, if you're interested in my long-term <laughs> uh, ownership and vision and all the good and the bad of this car, um, I re you know, perhaps you browse my channel, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, and if you'd throw me a like for this video, if you think it's worth it, and also a subscribe would be great if you could. So anyway, um, let's dive in and uh, we'll, s we'll see where this takes us. Thanks, folks. Well, so hey folks, so as I say, the purpose of this video is to really kind of dive into what uh, the Clarity has uh, that sits between the engine and, uh, you know, the generator, and then there's the propulsion motor, and then of course are the wheels. So um, the more I dive into this, the more that I think the term CVT uh, or eCVT is a little more misleading because what I've understood so far, uh, and as I say, this up goes up to and includes uh, what I believe to be the patent uh, filing for what's the inter the IMMD, which is the Honda Integrated um, something something motor something. <laughs> I'll take that up when I know, and I'll put it in the bottom here. So, um, because really, the, what the engine does is it varies its output uh, to the generator, or only in the only. Um, in a way that the generator requires in order to maintain the acceleration that demands from the right foot of the driver. So, um, uh, one uh, user here, or one uh, of the forum gentlemen that I've uh, looked at, he says instead of calling it a CVT, we should call it a continually variable engine generator instead of a transmission, which of course is probably much uh, better nomenclature, but it gives you the sense of what we're talking about here. Um, there's no motor that sits at a fixed, you know, peak torque like they would in a typical CVT if you're giving it full throttle, for example. Uh, and then the bands and the, or the band and the pulleys in the CVT would vary uh, depending on the speed of the wheels uh, in order to maximize the amount of acceleration you can get out of that peak torque to the wheels, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that's not really what seems to be going on here in the in the uh, uh, in the Clarity. This IMMD uh, system has four sets of uh, fixed gears. That is, they do not. Um, shift between them they are four separate sets of gears that work in different circumstances and let me actually see if I can find that here so um, only one of these sets of gears has a clutch between uh, it and or to engage or disengage and that is uh, as you've mentioned you've heard me mention the under these circumstances like it says in the owner's manual they there will be a time when the motor will actually directly power the front wheels now that is also a fixed ratio so it cannot change um, and there's just a clutch that would uh, engage uh, or close whatever the term is uh, to directly connect the, the, the motor to the wheels um, again I've been driving this car for almost 28,000 kilometers and I haven't really uh, felt that uh, and again most of my mileage as you've uh, all heard me say time and again is um, it's simply uh, in electric mode so in electric mode for example all of that stuff is off uh, and all that's going on is the batteries the lithium the, the lithium batteries of course in the back of the car are running uh, are you know given juice to the motor which will turn the front wheels and of course there's gears involved with um, everything from the output shaft uh, as there must be uh, from the electric motor so that's one set of gears um, the other set would be when the engine turns on as I say or sorry the second set would be like the what I just mentioned forgive me for bouncing around here is when the engine has to actually just drive the power the uh, drive the wheels itself there's I guess there must be one set of 
uh, gears connected to the uh, either side of the clutch. So when that clutch engages, it just goes effectively straight too. Now that again doesn't vary. It's only one set of gears, uh, so it obviously minimizes uh, as much friction as possible uh, and saves a bunch of weight. So that's awesome as well. Um, the other set of gears obviously is when the generator uh, or the engine powers the generator. Um, you know, it just sits there, it sits on a shaft with a, a lay shaft that must be that connects to the generator and only does uh, does that. So. Calling any of those things really a transmission uh, is a bit of a leap, uh, other than the one where it obviously joins the motor to the to the wheels. That's 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 fair. But otherwise, again, um, in my mind, and please, you know, let's let's debate this. I'm all for uh, better information because I'm only going with what I've found. Is uh, in my mind, uh, the. CVT portion of this whole equation is simply that the RPM of the engine can vary based on load uh, that the generator feels it needs uh, or the engine management feels the, gener the generator needs in order to uh, maintain the, the uh, electricity to the drive motor uh, and or charge the batteries depending on what mode you're in. So that's a lot of words. Um, you kind of see where I'm going. Um, what I will do is, like I say, I'll link below um, the websites that I got this stuff from. Again, it's I focus on the IMMD um, portion of all of this because I really believe that's uh, there's a the Clarity has a derivation of that system, even though I haven't heard it actually said that uh, say that anywhere. And um, I'll include the link to the patent if I can. Uh, otherwise, I'll just put it out there directly, and you guys can download it. And what I'm going to do now, which is why I'm dressed in my awesome clothes here is I'm going to go out it's time for me to do the second oil change in this car so I just warmed up the motor which is tough to do because <laughs> it always runs electric um, I'm going to go under there and actually bring you folks with me and have a look and see what this thing actually looks like a little more in depth I did I had a good look the first time I uh, uh, did the oil change but nothing really major so let's go out and have a look at what the, the damn thing looks like and see if that sheds any light on it so thanks for sticking this this along with me this is like seven or eight minutes already by now I really appreciate it this is kind of a cool topic I think if you're a scientist nerd like myself so let's see what we can find out see you in the garage well hey folks um, well I'm under the car <laughs> not sure how valuable this will be but hey why don't you come along with me so uh, this as you can tell is the part of the motor right so this is the oil pan uh, the drain plug is right back here by the way uh, and then the filter so that gives you an idea where we are um, I am uh, let's see my legs are towards the front of the car so this is the driver's side now as I'm moving over to so uh, motor stops here I guess at this big interesting thing, it's, uh, it's joined by like not even like a bell housing like you might expect. Uh, and then this would be the sump and obviously it would be something here. But then over there is obviously where the mechanical coupling is uh, to both drive the wheels. And you can see there must be a clutch in there somewhere because um, that's again, that's the transmission side. And then there's the half shaft for the driver's side, which you can see a little bit of rust on it just from no reason, I guess. Um, anyway, and then what else can we really see under here that would show us anything as to the nature of this transmission? Um, and unfortunately, uh, well, there's a, that is either over here, um, either a pressure hose uh, or maybe an air conditioner hose. It's tough because it's tin, right? It's, uh, it's metal rather, not uh, rubber. So I wonder what that could be. I'm trying to see other things up here that might make sense, but uh, that's probably just air conditioning com condenser crap. But uh, Honestly, I thought this might be a little more illuminating. Uh, I apologize it's not, but uh, what it does show you is there's not a lot of room here for obviously any type of traditional gearbox, anything that would be uh, multi-ratio. I mean, we're obviously, the jury's back on, on that this thing does not have a planetary gearbox. It does not have, you know, even an automated manual or any type of DCT that's meant or automatically controlled clearly, because there wouldn't be enough room for that here. But uh, still, um, I can't say that this has been an anything <laughs> other than uh, completely awash when it comes to definitive answers. So anyway, uh, well, it was a bit of a thought experiment. I apologize it didn't uh, result in more, but let us uh, let me get, finish up under here and I'll go back in the car, uh, house and uh, we'll talk about uh, a few other things. So anyway, thanks for following me this far, folks. <laughs> See you in a minute. Uh, well, okay, so as I said in the uh, footage from under the car, that wasn't particularly useful uh, or illuminating, shall we say, but you know, having looked at the, at, you know, the width of that stuff, I guess, and where the motor is and things like that, and if you refer back to the video that I have linked down below, the IMMD, the, what is it, Intelligent Multi-Mode Drive System, <laughs> there we go. Um, the motor, the right next to the motor, as you go from the motor towards the driver's side uh, wheel, the first 
uh, thing it encounters is actually the drive motor, uh, which is cool for like the wheels. That is, you know, so there's obviously that's where one gear set would be. And I kind of got a sense of that when I was under there. I couldn't really obviously show you very well with the camera, but uh, and then going further outboard, that's actually where the generator sits. So the, obviously there's a shaft that goes through from the drive shaft through the um, uh, propulsion motor to the generator, so that can generate electricity as well. So um, that's obviously how that kind of works. Uh, again, I put two point or there is rather 2.11 liters of uh, um, uh, transmission fluid in there. So I don't really know. It wouldn't make sense to me that electric motors or generators would need that, but maybe there's some lubrication uh, that it does. It's not a very heavy oil either. So to me, it doesn't seem like it would be uh, like under a lot of pressure, like there would necessarily in a more a traditional automatic. Um, so anyway, um, leave it to you folks to tell me if I'm wrong there, but um, interesting, I guess, uh, were I to draw any conclusions from this, um, again, there's no real belt, the CVT portion, you know, there's none of that actually mechanical uh, connection, there's no steel belt, there's no uh, pulleys that can uh, infinitely vary in ratio up to a certain extent. So that's a little misleading. Again, maybe consider a big flow of electrons, uh, that that's the band. I mean, you know, take the analogy you want, but uh, um, for all intents and purposes, when you drive the car, you know, there is no shifting that you notice. Uh, and certainly anyone who has driven this car knows that the motor has a mind of its own and does exactly what it wants to do and needs to do uh, at any given time, including rev the hell out of itself in some situations, which makes it a little boomy. But uh, uh, that's a uh, minor complaint, obviously, because uh, compared to otherwise how quiet the car is. So does it have a transmission? Yeah, I, I, I'm in the no camp. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like anything that I've ever uh, seen or heard of before. Um, yes, it's got gears, uh, obviously reduction gears and things like that as it needs to for all of those things because at the end of the day it does turn some shafts which turn some wheels. So um, I really wouldn't call it a tr transmission uh, as I say. Um, it's certainly a mechanism that, that transfers drive so you know call it what you want. I think it just comes down to semantics but uh, anyway uh, so another good video with no conclusions. <laughs> Lucky all of us. Um, but at least um, I hope I've shared some information that's useful for your folks. I've certainly learned a little more. Uh, I, you know, by the time I'm done all this research, I, I know a lot more about it than originally I originally thought. So um, take that to the bank if you want. Um, uh, like I said, I'll link the the uh, the IMMD drive video and the patent. Actually, I found that was a curious a curious thing to stumble across. So I'll link that down below as well, um, as well as some other inf uh, um, links to uh, other websites that I used. And you can judge for yourself on the quality of those uh, uh, primary sources. So anyway, um, again, as I always say, if you made it this far thanks so much um <laughs> these are thought experiments sometimes and they're illuminating sometimes and maybe other times they're uh i just you know serve as a source for you folks to laugh because hey i don't uh, <laughs> i laugh at myself all the time why should i be the only one so anyway um again thank you all for watching i appreciate every minute of watch time every like every comment good or bad and certainly every subscribe uh, again i'm always um Kind of, you know, I chuckle every time I see just how uh, how much viewership I actually get because uh, this is uh, just something I do on the side. So anyway, all the best to you folks. I hope I'll uh, chat with you sooner than a couple of weeks like this time. Uh, but you know, I wish you a, a wonderful end of the month here, uh, early June as we get into. I hope it's warm where you are, and I hope everyone in your life is doing well. Thanks all. Talk to you soon.